In my last video, I uh, showed you how to get tomato onto your router. Now I'm going to show you one of the cool things you can do with it. So log into your router. The default is admin admin. And what I want to show you today is how to use your new router as a wireless client. And by that I mean you can use your tomato router, pictured here, to connect to devices such as game consoles or any device that does not have a wireless connection. So we can connect that via a wire to the tomato router. Then we can use the router's antenna to connect to the rest of our network, including the internet, network printers, etc. Let's go back over to our uh, console and I'll show you how it's done. And it really is fairly simple. Just come down to the basic tab on the side. You may need to expand it. Then we click on network. There's not a lot that needs changing. This is the default setup, but we want to ensure that you have DHCP enabled at the top. The LAN address and server addresses can stay the same. Make sure that the enable wireless is checked. And then under wireless mode, change your setup to client. Below that, you can select your network speed, BG or N, if you happen to have an N router. And this is the only tricky part. You'll need to know your SSID so you can get that off of another computer in your network or off of your internet router. So once you have that, you just tap it in here and then you can set up any of your security settings. In this example, we don't have any security settings, so we'll just go ahead and save it. You might notice it says channel here, and you can set that to match the current channel of your network. But even if you don't, it will find it and just may take a few seconds longer. So we come down at the bottom, click save, and it'll restart the network on your router, but the GUI will not actually refresh. 